For the past two years, residents have had to put up with this. Blocked roads, heavy equipment, and gravel everywhere. Most are thankful the end is in sight, but a few have apparently chosen to stand in the way. We want to try to, you know, get the cooperation of those folks, so, and we will, you know, so one way or the other. Two years and $10 million into a massive sewer separation project, the city of Evansville's patience has gone down the drain. Property owners were asked to disconnect basement pumps and gutters that drained into sewers. The city paid for the work to be done at 99 households, but the last 14 on the list said no. What reason would someone have to uh, turn down the connection? Well, you know, I see no reason that they should, and it's just really been a um, situation where they just haven't cooperated at all. They won't answer the door. They, we've sent them certified mail. Um, we've done it. We know people are living there. So far, the city's been asking homeowners to make the switch, but it's not like they have a choice. The drainage rules are federal law, and if you don't comply, the city can sue. Letters to those 14 holdouts will go out this week, giving them 10 days notice to comply or face a lawsuit. Whenever it fills up with water, then it just pumps it out side of the house into our driveway. Residents in compliance say they can't understand why someone would want to risk having raw sewage backing up into their basement. The only thing I can see there is if some of the people don't have the money that they think they're going to have to have if there's an extra charge. We only found a couple of houses where pipes still appear to drain underground. No one was home and no one could tell me who the holdouts are. But once their names are public, neighbors say they'll be facing pressure to do their part in putting the neighborhood back together. It's a shame that a few people might hold it up. They're eventually going to have to do it, so why don't they go ahead and do it? News 25 has filed a request to get the names of those refusing the fix. The city says taking them to court could delay an August completion date back into the fall. Live on the city's southeast side, Jonathan Lee, News 25.